up so it's not so noisy. Uh, we're going to demo the HT131 uh, steel pole saw. So it's one of my favorite pole saws. I've been using uh, different models of the steel, usually this one for uh, 15, 20 years. So very happy with it overall. So I'm gonna demo that today. Uh, Rosie may use it, may or may not, but she's gonna no, film us for it's, us. Uh, it's so I'm gonna trim some of these trees and limbs back and show you a little bit what it does. It, uh, with my, I'm about six foot four, so it will go uh, probably, uh, 10, 13 feet, maybe 15 up in the air with me, because it has a extension if you don't know about that. You do this little uh, little thing on the side, little handle there, and I'm do, loosen that, and then you can pull this out. I'll also demo that for you, but this is as it sits. I would say that's probably uh, seven foot tall or something. Then it goes out another three or four feet from there, and then plus whatever your height is and however strong you are to hold all that up. But if I was to have one saw, out of all the saw, I've got five saws, electric saw, some big uh, 044 or 45. I've got some big still professional chainsaws. I've got two of them, then electric saw and, uh, and two pole saws here. I have another model of this uh, where they changed it one year. But uh, so, but of all the saws, this gets the most used. It really depends what you're doing. I mean, if you're a tree guy, you're going to use this a lot, but you're going to use a big saw a lot as well. But uh, I'm a landscaper and I do some tree work, limb work mostly, and that's where this saw gets heavily used by me. I'm solo and being a landscaper doing uh, limb work, this is uh, just ideal. You don't have to get up a ladder. You don't have to climb the tree in most cases and uh, it'll cut anything. They come with uh, 12 and 16, I think, inch blades. This has a 12 on it I put on to use it up. It came with, I think, a 14 or 16. And uh, so it's very handy and I've cut down uh, trees. Uh, I actually cut down trees with it. So um, here's the uh, size of tree I've cut down with it approximately. So it will cut this up. And it's not ideal, but in a pinch, if you need to cut that tree up, and that's probably six, eight inches thick, maybe uh, a little bit more. That one there is about six inches. So I have cut up uh, small to medium-sized trees, and but it's ideal for limbs. Okay, well, here's Rosie. Uh, here she is. She's going to film me. And I'm gonna reach up and do some limbs, just demonstrate the uh, different things you can do with it.
telescopic part, telescopic part, you undo this so just a little bit, loosen that up. Then you can take that out to whatever height that will suit you. I'm gonna, I'll take it out all the way. This is full extension. So that's full extended. And so I'm six foot, I'm six foot tall. So you can see that, uh, that's probably 12, 13 feet tall. Is how high you can reach. Plus I'm gonna lift it off the ground.
hard cut? No. Alright. Hurt my, my shoulder. So there you have it, a little out of breath. Uh, it's slick here on the side of the hill with the leaves. So we're gonna clean this up a little bit. So that kind of demos it. Uh, you got the telescopic, uh, telescopic uh, thing. That's the uh, steel HT31. I've uh, been using them for at least 15 years. Also, I've been in uh, landscaping, doing this type of work for 41 years. So. That's uh, so that there you have it. What do you think of that, Rosie? Were you yeah, impressed to uh, see how easy it made the? It's so amazing! It's doing it high. It's yeah, amazing. you can reach yeah. up and just clip all the lower limbs that's shading out or hitting things, so you can go up a good 13, 15 feet up in the trees. So I wanted to clear a little, let a little more light in back here for our uh, pine trees to maybe grow a little bit better and all this will fill out as well so we're going to clean this up next a little bit get some of these branches and so forth so but hope that was informative or entertaining or some, some value of you so overall i really recommend the machine very minimum problems uh uh if i had to buy one chainsaw again especially for a uh, light tree limb work it's ideal and the safety is a lot better than having to get up ladders or shimmy up a tree and hold on to the side of it. So, works really good. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. I try to get back to all of them. Uh, Thank you very much less, for watching. Less the channel gets uh, really busy and takes off. Right now, I'm working full time as well, and we're uh, talk more about our journey. Uh, which is apparently a step closer to beginning. Um, if you all don't know, the title of the channel is The Philippine Journey, Terry's Philippine Journey. So, and that's a work in progress and we've been talking about it and thinking about it and trying to get uh, do something about that. And it uh, looks like we've made a big step forward. So uh, in the future, there will probably be little to landscaping stuff because we may be uh, moving and it'll become more of a uh, life over there. So just a comparison to landscaping and biking and hiking in Ohio uh, versus what our life might be over there. So hopefully that's uh, enjoyable and entertaining and a good move for me. So, so I'm looking forward to the new journey and uh, appreciate everybody watching. That's about it from uh, Terry and Rosie. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Thank you.